Do you get confused which line to annotate during reading an article? I always did. Do you know how to make connection when reading an article? If not, watch till the end. This is the ninth video of this series Build Your Second Brain. In this video, I will answer all these questions and show you how I read anything effectively. Annotation is very useful if you know how to annotate anything effectively, otherwise it turns into garbage. So the question might arise, how do you decide which line to annotate? Here are my top 5 annotation rules. So number 1. Annotate that resonates with me. The idea that resonates is the one that is unusual, interesting and potentially useful. Tiago Forte mentioned this multiple times in his book Build a Second Brain. One Page Marketing Plan by Alan Deeb. I read this book recently. Knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. This line resonated with me really really hard. So I annotated the line for my future use. Even I used this line in my previous video of this series, my Zettelkasten note taking method. Number 2. Annotate that I don't know. When reading the same book, I got this line around the 1900, there were 100,000 horses in New York and London in 1900 had 11,000 calves, all horsepower. This is a completely new information for me. I find it useful for my future context, so I annotated it. Number 3. Annotate only the gist, avoid supporting information. If you just look into the lines below, they are just supporting information of the first line. Therefore, I always avoid supporting details during annotation and try to be economic. Later, if I need the details, I could go back from my annotation as I have the reference with page number. Number 4. One important tip during annotation is always keep the whole sentence, not just one or two words. Also keep the whole context. So if you annotate one or two words without context, it turns into garbage after you extract note from it. If you look into all the three annotations, I preserve the whole context with fewer lines. So, whenever I read those three lines, I realize that there in 1900, horse business was booming, but it got out of business within 17 years due to the development of IC engine. Number 5. Annotate what I need for current project. I believe this line is beyond explanation. Follow the first four rules I mentioned before and make annotation focusing on the current project. I use emoji to keep track of my reading status. All of my articles have three status inside Zotero, which list that I want to read, reading that I am reading right now. Complete. The article is done reading. Zotero has good tagging system, so I use different emojis at tag to keep track of the article status. Windows key plus dot or full stop brings the emoji toolbar for Mac the shortcut is command control plus space. Checkmark. I use checkmark when an article is done reading an open book. Use open book emoji to indicate currently reading the article and use book emoji to indicate my wish list. A paper or article will be marked complete when reading done understood mostly and note has been transferred to Obsidian. The goal of reading something is to make connections and utilize it when needed. I explained in my Obsidian tutorial how to make connection with all nodes using double brackets. To make connection in Obsidian, you have to use bracket two times. End of the day, all of my annotation dumps into uh, Obsidian. So I use this Obsidian powerful feature when I am reading something. Let me put a specific example. So I have a page named second brain in my obsidian. So when I get any relevant information, I annotate and make a note and put the obsidian style connection, double brackets, second brain, double brackets. So later when I bring the notes in obsidian, it automatically connection with the second brain page. This simple hack helps me gather all the information to write anything. Not only I make connections, but also I put tag with annotations to make them discoverable. So if I have any question during reading an article, I put hash question tag with the text. So later, when I bring that into obsidian, I can find the question easily just by search. Similarly, I have a bunch 
of other texts for different purposes. That's all for this video. I'm Shubham Kardash, PhD student, Clarkson University, New York. If you find this video useful, hit bell and subscribe button and refer your friends who are also trying to build a second brain.